I didn't mean to go there. We, uh, we said we'd wait. We never said what we were waiting for. Until it felt right? It didn't feel right. No, I just don't want to pressure you. Michael, to... this is what I want. I mean, unless you've changed unless your mind. Nothing. I... This is what I want to. This is one deal that the city of Port Charles cannot afford not to take. Tell him. Juan, thank you so much for agreeing to this meeting. I hear your client's ready to confess. Oh, well, I, I think my meaning may have been misconstrued. No confession, no deal. Right. Don't be so hasty. My client is in possession of information which is of great value to this government. And he is willing to trade said information for all the charges against him being dismissed. Look, I only took this meeting as a courtesy. I want this case to go to trial. I've got signed statements from your client's father and sister that he shot the father in the back. It's not a curiosity. What kind of information are we talking about? Certainly you gentlemen are familiar with the FBI's most wanted list. Where's Faison fitting that list? Get me out of here! Okay, look, I already told you the DA's backed up, but I will see what I can do. Tracy, I didn't think you'd come. Well, I wasn't sure I was going to come, but you mentioned Luke. Is he all right? Where is he? Turkey. <laughs> Robert, you want to be more specific? Is he vacationing? Is he on a bender? Is he in trouble of some kind? Well, he's there handling his situation, and um, I'm here handling Anna. And judging from your circumstances, uh, Anna didn't like being handled? Well, she had me busted for breaking into Lavery's apartment. Really? A lifetime is the secret agent. You must be slipping. Well, uh, desperation makes me sloppy. I needed the proof. Proof of what? Brace yourself. But Rob is right. Faison's remains were never found. Well, didn't he die in an explosion? I mean, there'd be nothing left to find. Well, that man cheated death before. Yes, but that's no proof that he would... It's a reminder that I need to keep my eyes open. I've been trained never to overlook any possibility, and I won't. But Faison was in love with you. He was obsessed with me. That's completely different. But if he loved you, wouldn't he have found you by now? Wouldn't he have shown his face by this time? I don't know. Maybe. It's just so unsettling to think that he could be out there somewhere. Then don't think about it. Stop thinking about it. It's easier said. I nearly lost everything because of him. So why don't you go to your room and unpack? And we'll see each other in a little while. Okay, that's a good idea. Can we not talk about him anymore? The levels hold up. I don't think there's a need for surgery. Oh, thank you. She'd be so relieved. Yeah. Well, the way you described it, I thought it was going to be a little more dire. It's not really about your death, is it? Um, that's my fault. You know, I, I was probably just overthinking it. Well, that's never a bad thing with a patient. But the good news is, I still got time to make that meeting with Sabrina. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Why not? It was an assistant a while back. I fired her. She'd only been here for like an hour, but. She wasn't so bad. Maybe we could send, send her over. Mr. Manning? There is no crying in journalism. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. Do you know Photoshop? I know of it. Good, because I'm having a really hard time getting the horns right on Johnny Zakara's big fat head. Wait, don't you have 
a photo department for that sort of thing? Private project, and no more questions. Really? That's a question. Oh, sorry. And, and no more opinions, either. You're not here for that. You're here to, to, to file and to oh. collate and to copy. So, don't just stand there, get going. Uh, okay. When I'm done, can we discuss the nurse's ball? Probably not. Well, but we had an appointment. We had an appointment for me to break you in. Break me in? Yeah, as my assistant, well, as my prospective assistant. But you know what? Already, I'm going to have to tell you. You need to start doing things a little bit more my way, okay? I can tell that you're very polite, but I'm not interested in that. In fact, I'm going to give you a very short list of people that you need to be nice to. And then the rest of the world, the more rageful and contemptuous you are, the better. Because the nastier the assistant, the bigger the executive. Oh, uh, no. Uh, actually, I'm a student nurse. Do I look sick? Uh, well, I would need a thermometer. Is this some kind of a joke? Why would the temp agency send me a nurse? Oh, no, they didn't. I mean, I'm not from the temp agency. No, I... Sabrina Santiago, I'm here to speak with you about underwriting the nurse's ball. Nurse's ball. Oh, I think we should, uh... Lydia, I thought you'd never ask. Michael, it's, it's your mom. She might, she might go away. Michael, I... Uh, okay, look, I've been calling you, you and get, I don't know, I... Can you get the door while I get changed? Yeah, no problem. She knows this is a big problem for me. Okay, go, go. Michael, I... Michael, I, I know that you... Star. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, Harry. Why don't you come in? Okay, thanks. Is my son here? Yeah, he's just he's just getting ready for the day. Oh. Okay. Um Michael? Hey mom. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna let you two talk. Thank you. I've been calling you, you know, trying to get in touch with you. Yeah, I've been a little busy. Don't do this, please. Don't shut me out. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight either. I, I don't, you know. I'm actually here to apologize to you. I'm sorry that I called the police on AJ. Okay, no matter, no matter my feelings about him, okay, you're my son, and I love you. And, and you asked me to give you some time with AJ, and I should have respected your wishes, and I'm sorry. And I hope you can forgive me. This trial may not be the slam dunk that you are envisioning, given that several of the witnesses has di have died during the interview. Wait a second, what, what the hell is he doing here? He's my partner. Yeah, he's also Sonny Corinthos' son. All right. I would not go so far to say, as the detective has a conflict of interest, but it is true that his father, Mr. Corinthos, does have a vendetta against my client. Well, Diane, Diane, please, do you want a grandstand or do you want to deal? I'm on the clock here. I'm sorry. Deal? What deal? She wants us to drop all the charges. What are you... Are, not a chance. We got an airtight case against okay, this Okay, come on, guy. I'm a petty criminal compared to Faison. Faison? Who, who's talking about Faison? He's talking about Faison. Well, that's great. AJ, would you take this off the internet? Look at the timestamp, genius. That photo's taken years after a supposed yes. death. And the tech department can scan the data to their heart's content once we have a deal in writing, gentlemen. Come on. This is a get for this department. This is the kind of arrest and conviction that, that makes headlines and resets career trajectories. So, do you want AJ Quartermain or do you want Cesar Faison? Luke said if I called you, uh, you'd help. Well, that's because Luke thinks he can con me, even secondhand. Hey, look, I was mortified when I learned that he and Anna had hooked up. I always hoped that she'd do better. I'm not going to discuss my personal situation with you. If we're going to talk about Luke and Anna, we are going to confine ourselves to the crisis at hand. Now, you have 
a cigarillo butt, and the word of Olivia Falconeri, Port Charles's resident psychic, and that makes you believe, convinced, that Faison walks among us. You're gonna tell me I'm crazy, aren't you? Luke trusts you. And if you say that Faison is alive, then I say you and I need to find that maniac and stop him before he kills anybody else. As always, it's a pleasure to see you. I am simply pointing out that the risk you are taking bringing that woman here... Uh, that woman, excuse me, her name is Anna. And whenever you talk about her, show her a little respect and courtesy. And about my judgment, don't question it. All right? I trust you implicitly. I am simply pointing out that the situation is perilous. You've gone to a great deal of time and trouble. And Anna's presence here could be your undoing. Yeah, but Scorpio's interference left me no choice. I have to take a calculated risk to make Anna mine. Okay? I, I know you're fond of Sabrina, and so am I, but she's not exactly beaming with confidence. Taking Todd Manning by herself will give her a boost. It'll show her that she has something to bring to the table. I think you underestimate Sabrina. She's determined. I'll say. What does that mean? Um, I, I agree. Sabrina is very determined. This is her chance to prove herself. Right, right, but we're partners, so I should be there with her. I'll see you later.